picture clearly shows what is being removed from your penis, which is a whole bunch of things. Like, you have five things that are being removed. So it's not just that... I've got a demonstration of what actually happens to the male pen 15. But before that, let me tell you, as someone who's actually performed circumcisions on adult males, this picture, the anatomy is totally wrong. What he basically is saying is someone who's completely biased towards a religious blood ritual forced on children uh, that I've done on adults. Circumcision is a euphemism for a religious ritual. It has nothing to do with medicine. This is not a medical term. There's no, um, you know, what this is is a prepucial amputation. That's what the correct medical term would be. And that video is trash. One of the things that's so... By the way, this video is trash. Out in this picture was the massive size difference. The length... Okay, so if you know this, this image, this image was designed not to show the size difference, like it affects this four inches off the end or cuts it in half. This is to show the number of valuable parts that are left that are removed. And this shows the inner and outer foreskin, which obviously is removed. It shows uh, the frenulum and the ridge band, which is obviously removed. Uh, and it also shows the dartos fascia, which is obviously removed. And uh, we'll talk about this in a second. The size of a male one-eyed cyclops is not affected during a circumcision. And that must... Okay, so this is a straw man, first off. The video, the image that this is showing, he, he doesn't say anything about the frenulum. He doesn't say anything about the ridge band. Those are the two most pleasurable parts. They're full of mysidor corpuscles. The most sensitive nerve endings in the body, they're found in the lips and the fingertips. That's why touching and kissing feels good. They're the most sensitive parts of our bodies. So those are found in the foreskin, in the frenulum, which tethers the foreskin to the underside of the glands, and in the ridge band, which is the end, the actual end that pulls back and creates three, uh, uh, seven to ten ridges that are also full of Meisner corpuscles. These are literally the man's equivalent of the, the entire female external clitoris. This is the male's clitoris, basically. And so, yeah, you're removing that. And this guy completely ignores that. Plus, uh, he's saying that it doesn't affect the size. Well, yes, if you uh, remove half the surface area, it does affect the size. Of course, you're not going to have that circumference um, because increased circumference, increased surface area, increased circumference. And in addition, if this is done to babies, scar tissue doesn't grow like other tissue. So as a baby, as myself, being a male that has experienced this, uh, when I tried to pull on my uh, skin, there's a very tight connection. It goes all the way deep down into the very um, kind of near my pelvis almost. And it's the scar line. I figured this out. It took me a long time. But it's the scar that has been pulling on my uh, surface area for since I was a baby. The crazy thing is, is I started to stretch out this scar and I started to get more length to relaxation to the scar. I hang lower. I have more blood flow. I have more circulation. Uh, I did grow, literally, because I don't have that tension pulling on me as much. I have to keep doing this to keep that tension away, but it's, it's still there. But I've learned that this is scar tissue and this is why I probably didn't grow another inch to a half inch. In fact, there was a study by a professor in New Mexico. He actually measured uh, circumcised men versus intact men. And what he found that, there, that circumcised men averaged on, on average of about one half uh, to an inch smaller uh, in length. Also, there's growth factors that are found in the prepuce that are activated during puberty. Well, guess what? If there's no growth, uh, there's, there's these uh, um, cells that produce this growth factor, uh, testosterone and, and influence growth, uh, they don't grow as much. This makes sense. So they've labeled in purple the dartos muscle. That's not on the trousers thing. They're yeah, the dartos fascia goes all the way from the scrotum all the way up to the foreskin. In fact, it is the reason the foreskin at the end, it tapers and closes around the end. So as you pull back, that dartos fascia will stretch uh, out over the glands. This is actually uh, one of the things that they think can give pleasure through the what's called muscle spindles, which as the muscle lengthens, it, it sends signals to the brain that, hey, this is what's going on. So intact men get that pleasure of that Dartos fascia expanding and the skin expansion at the same time uh, that they're having uh, intercourse. So yeah, that Dartos fascia goes all the way up there, buddy. You just don't know because you're uneducated. Actually, in your scrotum, what actually happens during a circumcision? The skin which covers the glands or head of the penis is removed to. 
the foreskin is not just skin. Of course, it is skin, but it also contains like 240 miles of nerve endings. Uh, it contains blood vessels. It contains the dartos fascia. It, it is the main primary sensory tissue, and it has a very important mechanical function during intercourse that's completely lost when you mutilate the genitals of men. Close the glands. The remaining skin edges are stitched together. Size and length is not affected. He just beat up that straw man so bad, and he thinks he's so good at this. It's so embarrassing for him that he doesn't even know the anatomy, structure, and function of what he's talking about. The crazy thing about educated people is educated people can spot an uneducated person a mile away because as soon as they open their mouth, they show their true colors. This guy has no clue what the heck he's talking about. He's doing surgery on people, surgery on people. Again, he didn't mention the dartos, uh, he didn't mention the, the frenulum or the ridge band. This image is not about the size that's lost, it's about the function that's lost. It's about the sensory, uh, sensory input that's also lost. In fact, we're, we've lost about 75% of the nerve endings, including the two most pleasurable parts, the frenulum and the ridge band. This picture clearly.